Welcome to Notification Squad, the show that takes the people behind Channel Fred Raider, puts them in front of the camera to read your comments. My name is Kate. I'm Alyssa, and, and we have no guests. Who is this? Oh, <laughs> uh, we have no guests. Or maybe they're invisible. Oh, maybe. Welcome, highly anticipated invisible <laughs> guest of the week. No, it's just you and me. Yes. Which is because it's the season two finale of Notification Squad. Which is it, sad which is and like, happy. Sad, it's bittersweet. Yes. Right? Which is the, the theme for next season of Notification Squad. Instead of New Hope, <laughs> New Changes. Of new hope, new changes. <laughs> it's bittersweet. <laughs> no, I want to come up with a better theme than that. Yes. But we do have a topic of discussion, which I think is going to be a fun one. Mm -hmm. It is, which cartoon character are you? Like you, the viewer. Which yeah. one are you? So obviously we're going to answer the question well, yes, for but, ourselves. But we want you to comment, mm -hmm. and we want you to call. All the things. All, all the, the things. things. So Alyssa, I was thinking it might be kind of fun if we try and guess each other's and see. Oh. Just to see. OK. So should we say it at the same time, or should I guess yours first, or what? Uh, I guess you can. I guess we can just guess each other's. Okay. Okay. So you want to go first? Sure. Okay. I'm going to say Donald Duck. Oh my gosh, I knew she was going to get it. I knew she was going to get it. Uh, well, she's correct. Donald Duck. Why? Tell um, us why. So I love Donald Duck so much. I think he's great. He has like such good intentions, but he has the worst luck. Just nothing ever works out for I him. I thought you were going to say worst temper. <laughs> also temper. So that's the other thing is like whenever bad stuff happens to him, he tries to stay positive, but he just can't. He has just such a short temper, and that's me too. I'm just like, ugh, and then I'm over it. <laughs> like, and then but I, it's funny because I can understand everything that you're saying, but that's I true. can't understand that's him true. sometimes. Yeah, you cannot understand him at all. No. But I love him. I think he's great. And no, I can't. I, I can't do it cannot. either. Can it's anybody in this office do it? Nah. I can like picture it in my head, like what you're supposed to do, but I can't do nah, it. Nah, it's so hard. The Don Duck voice is so hard. I'm not gonna do it. Zach can do it. Yeah. Oh, so mm. Kate's gonna guess mine. Yeah. So this, this is kind of difficult. This, I don't know if I'm gonna get it right, mm. but I'm gonna guess. All right, ready for this? Steven Universe. That's pretty good. I feel like it's a good one for you, but yeah. I, it doesn't sound like that was your pick. No, but that's <laughs> that's like. That's pretty good. Okay. I would I would also pick that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say Dipper Pines. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse knew. <laughs> um, I'm sort of like a little bit of Mabel, mm -hmm. but I'm more Dipper what? because he's very, like I wouldn't say I'm smart, <laughs> but like he's very he thinks intellectually about mm -hmm. things and he likes conspiracy theories, which yeah, is what true. I love to do. That's how we found you yes. here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he. He, he's still slightly socially awkward, but he's also not at times mm -hmm. when he's in the right environment. And I don't know, he's just a lovable goofball. He is. Which I think I am. He is a lovable goofball. <laughs> I love him. And you've actually cosplayed as him yes, before. Yes, I did. You're looking at a picture of that now <laughs> on screen. Yes, that was at New York Comic Con Pretty great. last year. Pretty great. With your friend who also did Mabel. Yeah, we did a gender event <laughs> Dipper Mabel. So there you go. So maybe That's I should Matt. cosplay as Donald Duck one day. Yes. That might be really weird. Um, will you, you, will you wear pants? No. No pants. I mean, it's part of the costume. So that's the topic of the week, but we want to hear from you. Let us know in the comments below what cartoon character are you, and you can't take Donald Duck, because that's mine. No, I'm just kidding. You can. All right, <laughs> moving on to the next segment. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Last week, yes. we had a Nick box here, and it was awesome. Yes. And this week, we have, which box is it? Box A or box B? Well, a lot of people voted, mm -hmm. and we read all the comments. Yes, what do we got? We got... Box B! Box B, <laughs> which is the Nick Rewind box. Yes, correct. So and if you missed last week, yes. Uh, what's the Nick box? Well, <laughs> the Nick box is an exclusive box that you can order online. And right now there is the summer block party box, mm -hmm. and it comes every season. So this one is the spring box, which was the last box. Right. And inside are exclusive items that you can't get anywhere else that are based on your '90s Nickelodeon so stuff. Rad, so so rad. this one in particular is probably more cartoony based, mm -hmm. which is probably why a lot of people right. voted for it. Yeah. Um, and we will open up the other box at some point. So totally. stay tuned for that. Yep. Um, and you can go into the link in the description and see if you want to buy the box for yourself. And But there's some cool stuff. Yes. They always have cool stuff, so we're really excited to be opening this one. And uh, we just want to say thank you again to the people at Culturefly for giving us this. So nice. Because we're so big nice. nerds and we love stuff. <laughs> we got some Rockwas Modern Life, hey Arnold, 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 Monsters, Rugrats, Angry Beavers. This kind of looks open, like open, the open, old open, VHS open. tapes. I know. Oh my oh. gosh. Already. Wait, look Already. at this box though. Look at oh, that box. Oh, this paper has spoilers, so we're not going to look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just forget about it. All right, so immediately, obviously, we see in the first box that we opened, it yeah. was Chucky's, Chucky's. t-shirt. So this one is Rocco. Rocco. So this is actually pretty big. This is awesome. Well, I could probably wear this. I love this. <laughs> I'll be a female Rocco. I love this. <laughs> yeah, this so it nice. feels really nice. Yeah. I like the, it's very it's like, bright. Yeah, it's like spot on. I mean, this is obviously like his they, shirt. Yeah, they like pulled it off of there. All right, what's next? Fast. What's next? 
is this? It's this vacuum, is vacuum seal. <laughs> Time loop. Really, yeah, obviously. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so soft. <laughs> Ooh, it's super soft. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. So this oh. is a blanket. Oh, it's heifer. Let's take out this little box. Ooh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Tommy's ball. From rugrats.com? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, so the cool thing about uh, the Nick box. Oh, it's actually. Oh. Oh. Wow, that's oh, great. I got really excited. That's so it's cool. So, so you can see that is uh, this is life size, right? Yes. This is life size. Tommy <laughs> is actually that big. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, but that's really, really that's cool. So cute. Again, this oh, is it. all exclusive, mm -hmm. made for this box. Yeah. So you can't get this anywhere else. So what do we have here? Filbert. More Rocco's Modern Life. This is great. Let's open it. Yeah, go Let's ahead. Let's open it. Let's open it. Why not? I'll take out. Let's check it out. Yeah, take out something else. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Powdered Toastman. Yeah. Lunch box. Well. Like sandwich box. Yeah. Lunch box is bigger. But oh, Ren and Stimpy. Cool. Oh, he's so cute. This is great, actually. Wow. They totally made this like ex exclusively for the box. You literally cannot buy this anywhere else. But I like it. Really, really, really. That's detailed. like a. This is like a collector's dream right yeah, here. Seriously. Oh, a pillow. It's oh, a pillow. it's from. Um, Hey Arnold. Arnold, yes, and it's Helga's little like heart-shaped yeah. locket that she carries yeah. around like a creepy person. Right. <laughs> I feel like this is this is like the perfect like I don't know picnic. I think they're set trying to something. say something. Yeah, like take a they nap. They want us to take here's, a nap. Here's a blanket. They want and us a to pillow. eat like some eat lunch, <laughs> take a nap, and then you can play with, with, with your favorite with, ball. <laughs> cool pillow. Got... I love this pillow. It's Ooh, pin soft. set. Oh, enamel pins. Yeah, Ren and Stimpy. Except they're upside down. But mm. but yes, you get. I'll flip them over. Mm. Oh, it is. This is cute. Yeah. I'm not like a. Are you? Do you collect pins? Have you seen my backpack? One size fits all cosplay socks. Oh, to match okay. the shirt. Right. Ooh. Lots of cosplay items. Stickers. Ooh, yes. All right. You want to show them off? I kind of want to put one on my laptop right now. Yeah. Pick one of these shows. Which sticker you want to see on my laptop, and we'll make it happen for season three. Cat dog, Angry Beavers, Wild Thornberries, or Rocket and Rocket Power. Yeah. And last but not least, last but not least, an Aerial Monsters vinyl, vinyl decal. decal. So what's hilarious about this? <laughs> they show you put it on your toilet. Because <laughs> <You're like laughs> then they go through toilets. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what they did. They like lived in the sewers. And that's it. And then again, yeah. don't eat these. Mm. Okay, Zach wants them. We will let him have them. Right, right, right. Well, this was uh, an awesome yeah, box. Yeah, I think the actual box itself is also pretty cool, mm -hmm. so I would say keep the boxes. I feel very rewound. I feel happy about this. this. So again, check out the link in the description below and make sure you sign up for the summer block party. Yes. Box. <laughs> uh, it's like block box park, party. Park, it's like the, a the, little the, bit of a tongue twister. But yeah, check it out because we know that there's going to be some really yeah, cool stuff. Yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for what's to come. Yeah. So the next segment is voicemails. And last week you guys called in to answer the question, what is your favorite retro Nicktoon? And here are your answers. Hello, Channel Frederator. I just watched one of your guys' videos. By the way, the name's Maddie. And to answer your question of what my favorite Nicktoon is, well, the classic ones at least, I'd say it, it definitely has to be Ren and Stimpy. I've been longing for a remake of the cartoon, but I kind of don't think it's going to happen without it being adult-oriented. <laughs> but I hope you see this voice message. Bye. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Maddie. That uh, was very like laid out. Yes. Like, great. This is what <laughs> it is. This is what I want you to say. This is it. Um, yeah. I think there was a remake of Ren and Stimpy. It was kind of brief, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it was mm -hmm. on Spike, yeah, Spike TV, and it was interesting. You know? So maybe, maybe, you never know. I'm not in, like, that's not my type of humor yeah, in cartoons. Right. Like, it's too much for me. Yeah. But it was a very big classic show. Netflix original, Rin and Stimpy, <laughs> reboot, CG, make it happen. Change.org. You got this, oh, man. No. You can make it happen. <laughs> Believe in yourself. Hey, my name is Sammy, and the best retro Nick tune after Rugrats, of course, is Asshole by Ginger. I just recently rewatched it and was surprised at how realistic the show got and how relatable it was for preteens at the time. Yeah. I would really love it if you guys did 100, 107 facts based on it one day. No. Thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I really loved Death Toll Legend. Yeah. I think that was like probably one of the first cartoons that I was like, oh, like this yeah. is a teen show. Yeah, like, it, I'm watching a teen show and I'm a kid. And <laughs> I recently watched the ending on oh, YouTube. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I watched the ending. And do you know how it ends? 
I, I don't remember, but I kind of remember. So it ends with her like reading, like what she, like usually she's narrating. Oh, mm -hmm. She's reading a book, and it's like her book reading, and it's in the oh, future, and like oh, everyone's there. Like it's I need to crazy. see that. You're making that up. No, it's I'm gonna real. find that now. We gotta Just watch type it. In as told by Ginger Ending. So thank you so much again for your wonderful voicemails, and it's been great this season so far. We actually don't have a topic this week because it's the season finale. However, if you called in this season and wasn't featured, stay tuned to the end of this episode because you just might be heard. Yee. Moving on <laughs> to the next segment. Comments, comments, comments. You don't know the comments, song? Comments, like comments. <laughs> now it's time for comments. Like I know you know the song. I'm just like waiting for it. I'm just like, do I it. know, I was waiting for my cute. First comments on 107 American Dad. I like trains, yay. Wasn't this already uploaded? Did you just re-upload this for 4th of July? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, well, we did. we're moving a lot of our 107s from Cartoon Hangover that are based on cartoons to Channel Frederator. Frederator. Plus, we want to give a shout out to our old content to get you to exactly. more used to it. Like newer fans might have missed it. Yeah. In fact, we get 107 requests and we're like, we already did that. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, true. Did you go it's back like, and look? Yeah, sometimes, you know, we have a lot of 107s. Yeah. And a lot of you want future ones, so we're just moving around. Plus, if you like anime, go to Cartoon Hangover. Mm. Like, especially right now, because 107 My Hero Academia is up. Hey, hey, hey. Go check it out. Speaking of 107s, on the 107 Despicable Me, Putrescent Void. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Despicable Me wasn't made from DreamWorks. Yeah, Cade. You did this thing where you wrote in the description, like, Despicable Me, one of the hits by DreamWorks when it's Illumination. Oh, is it Illumination? So I had to fix that for you. <laughs> <laughs> we were wrong. <laughs> we should have done a We Were Wrong segment this week. But I fixed it, it's all good. Next comment comes in from our most American cartoons, Monk Font Tin. Why aren't all nine just different King of the Hill episodes? <laughs> well, is America pretty much King of the Hill? Yeah, I don't know. As someone from Texas. As what, someone from Texas. What do you say? I can say King of the Hill is very accurate. <laughs> Scarily accurate. Sammy Yam says, gets Canadian guy to host nine most American cartoons. Aha. Aha. <laughs> yeah, I, it was so funny. I was like, guys, who are we having host yeah. um, the American cartoon video? And they're like, oh, Jacob, the Canadian. <laughs> and I'm like, that's great. <laughs> and he handled it really well. Well, I love that I was he was like, happy. this is the only flag I have. It's like yeah. a Canadian flag. <laughs> yeah, I, and you know what? I saw another comment that was like, you guys should make a Canada cartoon yeah, video yeah, and have cool. an American host it. That'd be cool. And I'm like, I'll I, do that. I like that. But I want Jacob to write it. I like that idea. <laughs> I love it. Power Slap Entertainment, every SpongeBob SquarePants meme explained. Every SpongeBob SquarePants meme explained. <laughs> it's got a thousand likes. So, I mean, we gotta do it. So good. Sponge mock all the way. So good. Also from SpongeBob memes, SFC Mr. Raccoon, when did Channel Frederator become behind the meme? <laughs> and Channel Frederator says, we love memes, so we wanted to give it a go. It's true. We do. We do. It, we are a meme It's part of our life. Company. It's yeah. become a part of our style. And we really mean that. Thank you so much for your awesome comments. If you want to be featured, remember, you just got to comment on this video, the last video, pretty much any video, and you just might be featured in season three of Notification Squad. <laughs> Moving on to the next segment, which is Notice Me Senpai. But Cade, what is Notice Me Senpai? Notice Me Senpai is very special. We select one commenter and say, you know what, you're not only gonna be noticed in the comments section, you're also gonna be noticed by Fred Seibert himself. Fred Senpai. I read somewhere, is he technically Senpai or Sensei? Mm. I'd say senpai. That is going to be the topic of discussion in season three, episode one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this week, the person who is getting Notice Me Senpai, Ayabi TV. Woo! One of our favorite people. <laughs> yeah. Ayabi says, come on, Notification Squad. It's been two seasons, and I still have no points, cry face. Aww. Yeah, I feel it for still him. has no points, actually. <laughs> <laughs> just, you're just getting noticed. You've been noticed. They've told us pretty explicitly that it's not IABI TV, it's IABI TV. I know, we just keep saying and it. We still just say IABI TV. <laughs> Moving on to Cade's favorite segment, Actually First, where we shout out the comments that were actually first on our videos. That's right. And typically, what happens is we have this person, yeah. the special guest who's not here, um, award yes. the Actually First or something. Yeah. And it's usually anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, chocolate covered spinach. Yeah, a fan. Pandas. You're looking at a, a, a montage of everything we've awarded over the past two seasons. <laughs> um, but this, we have to come up with I know. ourselves. Uh, so what's it gonna be? What if we did uh -huh. actually first comments get actually first comments? Love it. I love it. Actually first inception. Good idea. So congratulations to everyone who is actually first. You get actually first comments. 
Have fun with that. Moving on to the next segment, Notification Squad. Uh, question. Y yes, Adrian. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, but I know this is the last episode of the second season, but I still don't know what Notification Squad is. Did you wear earplugs when we're filming? What's happening here? <laughs> I, just kind of, I just kind of tune out. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's let me I'm... tell you. So you go to our channel, you mm -hmm. hit subscribe if you haven't mm -hmm. subscribed, mm -hmm. and then you'll see a little bell icon. You click that, and then you'll get emails telling you when we get your new videos. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And so, there you go, Adrian. So, who is in the squad this week? Notification squad leaders this week, Jeff Bob. That's how <laughs> Jeff Bob. Uh, Notification squad, where are you at? Where you Congratulations. At? You get a point. Oh, guest. Guest again. Yeah. Happy 4th of July, Notification squad. So nice. America. So America. <laughs> Tom Bashford. Good morning, Notification squad. Yeah, I see Tom Bashford a lot mm -hmm. in the comments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he requested one of the Back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. Sarah, hi, Notification Squad. Hello. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hello. Hi. And also, Daniel Blue, Notification Squad. Hey, you hey. also get a point. Point. So congratulations to all the squad leaders. This week, you all get points. And we promise mm -hmm. next season, the points will matter. So thank you so much for watching this season of Notification Squad. And don't worry, there will be a short break between this season and the next season. We'll have an office tour. Oh, yeah. We'll have the producer sitting down talking about how we were wrong. <laughs> and we want to know what we should be doing in the future. So leave comments about future segments, future guests, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. We really want to know. But now it's time for a new segment. New segment! Because that's who we are. Yes. <laughs> so what is this new segment? This new segment is called Callbacks. Callbacks! Where we feature all the voicemails that we've gotten over the past season or two and, you know, just give them a shout out to you guys. Yeah. Because there were so many voicemails that like, we sit down and like, how many voicemails this week? Because we like, got a bunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. It, we, so we thought we could yeah. shout them out all at once. Right, in the finale. So, without further ado, here are your voicemails. It's me, I'm Mario. And I'd like to see the Nintendo game of Sonic as a cartoon. Bye. Hey, Channel for Ray. This is your favorite frequent caller, Timothy. Uh, my favorite superhero cartoon would have to be Justice League Unlimited. I found it to be awesome and great. My second favorite would have to be the original Teen Titans, not the crappy Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go is just too silly. So, thanks. Have a nice day. Hey, Channel Funnery, this is Peter Griffin. I think the video game they should turn into a cartoon should be in a Luigi's Mansion. That'd be freaking sweet. <laughs> thanks. Bye. Hi, my name is Kelsey Mellon. I've actually called before, and my answer for this week's the question is that uh, the series that I have seen the entirety of is Avatar The Last Airbender. By the way, do you think you could uh, do uh, 107 Facts of Ferngully, Anastasia, and the Book of Life? Okay, thanks. Bye! Hey, my name is Cameron, and my favorite superhero TV show is Spectacular Spider-Man. It just has great plot, great story elements, and I love the quip that Spider-Man has. That was my favorite. Thanks. Bye. Hey, Channel Frederator. This is Austin. I have to say, the cartoon I've definitely watched the most is Scooby-Doo. I remember as a kid, I used to have the original Scooby-Doo Where Are You on DVD, and I would watch it every night. And then during the day, I would watch What's New Scooby-Doo, which I think is a very underrated show, by the way. It was in one of the new reboots of Scooby-Doo, but you can't beat it. It's just one of the classics of animation. Yeah, that's it. All right, have a good day. Hello, I'm going to need y'all to hurry up and do uh, Lilo and Fish because... That's an alien, that's a girl from Hawaii, and when they get together, some crazy stuff happens. So y'all need to get on the ball, do what y'all do, and do it like y'all can do, and do one of her seven facts about Lilo and Fish. God bless. Hey there, guys. Do 107 facts on Freakazoid. Fantastic show, that and Batman the Animated Series. Shake my childhood, not talked about nearly enough. Please, oh please, talk about Freakazoid. Take care. Give up the great work. Bye. Hello, my name is Omari, and the best cartoon food would be a cookie cat from Steven Universe. It looks so creamy and tasty. Bye. Love you, Jennifer Reader. Hey, did you guys realize that the Spickle Me 3 and Crash Bandicoot trilogy are coming out the same day? Coincidence? I think not! And I think if they're going to make a cartoon on Nintendo, they should do a Mario RPG because those games are really funny, especially Bowser. Bowser should have like half the screen time because he's so funny. Hi, my name is Cloud, like the thing in the sky. Yeah, that's me. Um, I just want to say I really like 
the notification squad, you know, like the notification squad. It's very funny because um, I ship Kate and Adam, and I think Kate should shut up. So yeah, shut up, Kate. And <laughs> I just want to say I have seen every episode. I mean, every single episode of Hey Arnold and Rugrats. Like every single episode that it's actually kind of scary you can quote them pretty much um and i'm not even a 90s kid i was born in the 2000s and i'm still a 90s kid at heart so bye kid shut up i mean i'm just saying kid we can ship all we want hi my name is tony t-o-n-y um i'm from brooklyn new york uh i would like to see zelda as a mm, cartoon because uh, it has so many different games, and uh, some of them uh, like would be interesting and would uh, put different uh, ideas. For example, four swords, like four different links, would have four different characteristics, or uh, yeah, characteristics, and they would have to use each other to fight each uh, to either fight each other and or like. Um. Hello, my name is Mario. And I heard about your question from last week about um, favorite cartoon superhero or superhero cartoon. Um, my personal favorite has to go with Teen Titans, um, the original one, not the new one, even though it sucks, but don't tell me to say that. But I just love the characters so much, how um, they act, the personalities. My favorite from all five of them, it's hard to choose between um, Raven or Beast Boy. Hi, my name is Noah. I think it would be great if there was a Banjo Kazooie game, because I'm in a <laughs> Banjo Kazooie cartoon. Because when I was growing up, and I, I played that game a lot, and it, was, and it was one of my favorite games to play. So, yeah, thank you. Um, this is regarding the voicemail question involving what Nintendo games would make good cartoon series. And my two inputs are Fire Emblem and Mother. Fire Emblem, well, it had an anime back in like 1990, but it was too short. They they should either expand on that or focus on a different game or like something like that. I'm not very good at organizing way not. This is just off the top of my head. And Mother, like the Mother series is personally my favorite. I think it is the best game series of all time. Okay. You don't need to use my opinion, that's like, okay. But people, like, the very small fandom Mother has had, is, by the way, this, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Mother, this is a series of the first time. <laughs> like, people have been saying that it should be an anime, or just any cartoon, and that would be great, like, if they could manage to connect all three games of the series, that would be absolutely fantastic. People have been, like, of doing like short clips of what Mother could look like as an anime. You can actually find them like all over YouTube. Sorry, thank you for listening to my input. Goodbye. Uh, hi, it's Claire. <laughs> I'm not gonna give my last name. But um, I have a suggestion for uh, 107 Facts videos. The Netflix show uh, Buddy Thunderstruck. Uh, I think it's real neat. And I'd, it'd be really cool if you, if you did that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, my name is Sadiq, and I would like to answer the question of the best superhero cartoon. And I think the best superhero cartoon is the 90s animated superhero show Spider-Man. I just thought the character development and all the villains and the whole plot was just really good, and it made the show come together. And, okay, thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Ayana. I, um, watched the... Superhero, like which? What is your superhero thing? <laughs> but um, I really like Teen Titans Go. I really love it, even though I don't really like Robin. He's yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Bye. Hello, this is Rain Hoek. My favorite retro Nicktoon is Rain and Stimpy. Of course, you fool. <laughs> Hi, it's Julian. Um, yeah, my favorite classic Nicktoons would have to be Ren and Stimpy, Hey Arnold, Rocco's Modern Life is awesome, um, Rocco's Hero is pretty good. I don't really have an issue with any of them, to be honest. I just haven't really seen Ah, Real Monsters, though. Um, can you guys please do maybe, like, a Canadian cartoon week or something? Uh, 107 Facts on Delilah and Julius, um, The Raccoons, definitely Zero Man, Leslie Nielsen, and Ryan Reynolds. 
Hero Mansion. It's awesome. Um, hashtag notification squad. Where are you at? Hashtag speak up, Cade. Also, since I'm calling on July 4th, happy Independence Day. And I know Frederator loves us. I love Frederator. Goodbye! Where's the hang-up button? <laughs> Hello, Channel Frederator. My name is Melanie. I'm from the Bronx. And the question of the week was, what cartoon have I seen every episode of? And mine would be uh, The Avatar, The Last Airbender. I literally would watch it two times or one time a year. Thanks. You guys are the best. Bye. Hello, Channel Frederator. I This is the last time I'm going to say it. I kind of want to ask you guys and see if I can, um, if you can make a video about how you guys make videos and everything. That would be, make my day. Um, anyway, bye. Hello, Notification Squad. It is I, Aku. So, you would like to know what got to what I have the most? Well, stand back, fool. Why I'm seeing every episode of that pathetic samurai trying to escape to a dying portal. And, uh, this just, just killed me, but I am still the master of masters. The shogun of sorrow. And remember, keep it extra thick. So thank you so much for watching season two finale of Notification Squad. I know it's crazy that the season is now so weird, over, but we have a lot of cool things planned for season three. Again, give us a call at 917-408-FRED and let us know what you want to see more on the show, what you want to see less on the show, and what kind of guests should we have, because yeah. we're still working on that as well. Yep. Also, leave us a comment on this video, previous video, pretty much any video, and you just might be featured. And thank you so much again. It's just been an awesome season. And remember, Frederator loves you. But Alyssa, oh. our, our job is not done here. You know, usually we have the special guests read the schedule. So I guess mm -hmm. we have to read the schedule. I think so, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we should race. Oh. Yes. Okay. So are you ready? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of shouting. <laughs> shouting. Okay, so it's going to be on my computer. Okay. Ready? Let's see. Three, two, one. One. Monday, Monday Nintendo, Nintendo references, references and cartoons. cartoons. Tuesday, 107 Fit Facts. Wednesday, who is the richest cartoon character? Thursday, Thursday a mystery cartoon. Thursday, Friday, Friday, 107 Johnny Bravo. Bravo. Saturday, Friday, Family Guy references. You should know. Ah! I feel like I messed up a bunch. <laughs> I feel like I messed up so much. <laughs> Can we do that every time?